Welcome back, Forts fans. In this episode, you're going to see how teamwork plus mortars is an unstoppable force. Here at Synergy Gaming TV, we do all sorts of gaming content. If you're new here, consider subscribing. Now, without further ado, you're watching Synergy Gaming TV. I'm your host, Synergy, and let's get into the video. Okay guys, welcome into another game here. This one's gonna be super fun. We're definitely gonna do mortars. Because I love mortars. This is where they're all just gonna build gunners and we're gonna get dumpstered. Okay, so Innocent said he's gonna do uh, anti-air. So he's gonna cover us. So we're gonna have some teamwork on this one. This is one of the most important things that you need to do um, when you are going um, mortars is you need someone if especially if you're doing it in 4v4s you need someone to cover your anti-air for you just because it's so hard to do it yourself to try and build the mortars to rush mortars out and then to build um, <coughs> to rush the mortars out and then to try and build your anti-air with that is just too difficult so this will be uh, this will be where it's at I gotta try and build quickly here. So one of the things that I like to do, like I've said this before in a lot of my videos, is that you, uh, I tend to get stream sniped a lot. So I have a natural tendency to want to build base defenses and get my eco up first so that I can survive the early harass so that my team can um, <coughs> come back and win, essentially. And I tend to do a lot of tanking, so I just build really tanky. I've always built really tanky. Um, it's just something that needs to be that needs to be done in games that I play in, and it works relatively well when I have strong players in the team because they understand like the fundamentals of how to um, support build, how to. Um... Woo! That didn't go very well. Uh, and how to cover and fill in the holes, right? So mortars obviously have a weakness to anti-air. So when you're playing with someone um, that knows this, and they're like, well, if this is what you're doing, then I will build the opposite to help you um, build your, your weapons, right? So that's really good. Uh, Innocent Child in this game, he's going to be the one that uh, builds the anti-air for the insane mortars. So hopefully this works out relatively well. Um. Okay. I was just wondering what my teammate was doing. Uh, Innocent Child knows, knows what's up. The fourth guy. That's because somebody knows. Looks like they're all doing shit like that. funny they just like they just like knew so that's one of the disadvantages uh, of trying to record a video while I'm streaming is because a lot of the times the viewers are are in the stream so it makes it really hard to uh... now we can get some of our upgrades done once the upgrade center finishes So he fired a shot. I don't know if you guys saw that, but he fired a shotgun before um, the rounds got there.
Lots of fire. Oh man, we still don't have it. So, he's just gotta learn his timing. So one is good, two needs to come back just a smidge. That should be right where we want it. So you'll notice too that the fire in a lot of cases is, is quite good. Um, so if someone does like like um, normal normal mortars and then you have someone doing fire, you can do a lot of uh, a lot of damage. You can do a lot of damage that way, uh, like long term damage. So we will. We're gonna upgrade real fast. We're doing this on uh, two fans as well. That's pretty good. Oh, we're just racking these dudes. This is great. This is great. Let's go there and maybe there. How does that work? A bit far. Let's try that and that one. Perfect. No, he's doing really good. His timing is uh, shotgun shots to be um, in between of our mortar shells, which is really good. <coughs> Woo! So we did double shotguns, double mortars kind of thing. Oh, I shot over. Over top. Do that with that. Should be bang on. Yeah. Oh man, nobody can nobody can withstand that. And that's it. Mortars are very, very, very powerful if they are undefended. Crazy. That's the end of video one or game one. We'll see you in game number two. Alright, and we're here for game number two. Now this is like the fifth time trying to record this video somebody keeps goofing it up or saying something they shouldn't be saying or or something like that so now the problem is the enemy knows exactly what we're doing because we told them that we were trying to film this so that means that we're going to have heavy resistance so hopefully Felix and I can pull this one out of our wazoos to uh, to bring out the win but we'll have to see it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough one it's gonna be a tough one it's going to be tricky because we're starting with low eco as well. Um, hopefully back base knows to build shotguns. And <coughs> we can go from that. There's a lot of sitting and waiting in this one because of the low resources that you start with on the map. And that uh, it's going to make things a little bit tricky. There's also no starting storages. So that slows down any rush builds, which is really good. We've been finding a lot in 4v4s. The players are still doing uh, missile rushes quite a bit so if we can just nullify that basically by choosing maps that have different starting points where you can't just do the same build over and over and over again um, then it changes the game plan and a lot of players believe it or not a lot of players will get fumbled on uh, if the if the plan isn't exactly like the standard vanilla map if the base isn't the vanilla map then they get all screwed up on their build and it doesn't work so hopefully um, we can get this underway now this is really like I said it's gonna slow the game down because of the way the bases are designed but I'm hoping that we can fix that with some strict some strategies that's the that's the game plan here we basically you basically just have to focus uh, a lot more eco which actually works out not bad because of how often I get stream sniped so essentially this map forces everyone to play the same way I play which slows the game down immensely, um, which I'm okay with. I'm okay with that. So you can see front base is doing a very small job there. Um, <coughs> mid base is getting their fans ready. You can see them. It's probably going right there because it's all back racing. So then we're going to bring that out like this. We can actually probably just bring it straight down. Only problem is if, if we get base tippage, we'll lose that. 
and then we can build up. I'm not used to using such low resources. Having Rick off the start really slows the game down, only having one mine. Um, but as you can see, in this case, you really only need one turbine. You'll notice a lot of new players place multiple turbines uh, very early in the game. You don't need those. One, two, two tops while you're building stuff. As you can see, we're floating resources, right? So there's, there's a huge no point in building all this extra stuff if you can't... Um, like, like we're floating floating resources. What's the point in having extra production if you're floating resources? You might as well spend the resources on things that aren't um, energy production and you can probably get ahead. Ooh. Let's do that. It's not very steady. What an asshole. Get out of here with your shenanigans. So, like I said, they already know what's coming. So, it's going to make this map much, much, much tougher. So, that's really disappointing. But, we're probably... I think regardless of whether or not we uh, we win this one, I think we'll put it in the video anyway, and we'll see how well it goes. Right? They're, they're obviously hard countering. They know what's going down. We'll see if Felix and I can handle this. Probably not. Now that they're building flax in there as well, we're gonna we're really gonna be struggling here. I don't know if anyone's building flax. No. So we have two guys not building flax. So I'm going to try and fill in that gap. I don't think it's going to work very well. Okay, so <clears throat> one of the things, nice, awesome sauces on it. Awesome ace, not awesome sauce. He's awesome sauce. <laughs> um, so we've got some storages there. So this is, remember, these these are the basic storages, right? So this is what most maps start with, and we're actually behind on that. Um, I don't even know if those are zoomed in correctly. They are. Okay, so we can back them up just a little bit. I'm going to build the tech as well. It's looking like we're going to need some help. I don't think... Um, oh, we got shotties in the front. Okay, he's missing. He's missing. Um, so we'll build some as well. Hopefully Felix, if we can get rid of that, that top dude to give us that, that rain down support, that'll put us in a really good position. Um, I will destroy these then. We've got some shotguns happening now. So what we'll do is build our upgrade center and I'll remove these and we'll go with another set of Mortars. Mortars. Okay, so hopefully we'll bring that back just a little bit. We're going to be a little bit behind on the mortar action, but Felix up there is, is seeming to hammer relatively well. Uh, yeah, we got another one. Want to hit those gunners. Oh, I was hoping Felix would have sniped that flak he's got there. Would have been awesome. It's not quite zoomed in. Okay, so we really, because the bases are smaller here, we really want to make sure that we have um, additional upgrades to get our upgrades on our on our production faster than usual. Um, that's going to slow down the. Um, firing a little bit. There's a 800 energy to upgrade. And hopefully we can we can get these to land. So 
Delete. Come on, there we go. So what I really like uh, about mortars is that they're kind of like this passive weapon that you can kind of um, like tab E into. Nice shots, Felix. Well done, buddy. So you can kind of tab E into them. Tab E basically selects a weapon like that, and then you can fire it one at a time. Um, works relatively well. So you can kind of AFK fire, meaning in which you can focus on building other things. And then um, you can also build into additional things. So because of that. So we'll fire those short. Um, there we go. So I got those dialed in. And when they're dialed in, now I don't have to aim, right? So I can just tab E and uh, or, or one, two, E, and then I can upgrade and focus building other things, which is really good. I was short on energy there. Short on energy, well done, well done, well done. Okay, so Felix also has got a shotgun, helping to mow stuff down. Um, I'm just gonna focus straight on mourners. Um, there we go. I think it looks like everyone's leaving. And we'll just make sure these are dialed in the way we want it. That one's pretty much perfect. So now we don't need fire. We'll upgrade those. Can we wait? Don't don't use upgrade. Don't use upgrade or don't use ability. Save it. Save until I'm upgraded. Got him. And we'll get the next one. So this is going to be a little trickier because this island's going to be in the way. Okay, now we can use it. Nice, GG guys. And that is the power of mortars. When you can work in a team with mortars and you have someone like covering out the gunners, mortars are incredibly powerful. Well done guys.